Hi everyone, it's Don and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Well, a lot of people are asking me when I put up my video the other day and I mentioned all these different places I want to go and a lot of people said, well, well, what are the popular destinations for 2020, 2021? What are people looking at? So let's take a look. What, and you know what? The answer might surprise you. So first off, let's just say it right out of the bat, the Caribbean is king of cruising. The Caribbean is the most cruised area in the world. Uh, it's warm all the time, <laughs> you know, any time of year, you know what you're getting. Everyone wants to visit beaches and tropical climates, so yeah, absolutely, it is the number one. But more and more people are looking for other places to go. There's only so many times you know, if you're an avid cruiser, that you want to go to the same ports over and over and over again. You want to see some variety. Well, believe it or not, the most sought after cruises right now are to cold climates. People looking for Alaska. You know, Alaska has been growing every year. We just moved the Royal Princess over there, a large ship. They just put the Blizz and the Joy over there large ships. They put the ovation of the sea over there large just because the demand is so high. The next big cruise place that's coming up is Antarctica. Everybody's trying to get to Antarctica and people are saying, why would you want to go someplace cold? I mean, especially me. I live here in Ottawa, Canada. It's snowing as always here in the winter in Canada. Why would I want to go to Alaska and the Antarctica? Well, it's truly a simple answer. It is still pretty much the best places to go if you want to get away from the hustle and the bustle of everyday normal city life. It's the only place you can go and go for miles and not see anything but wilderness still and mountain peaks and the pristine waters that are still protected out there. Also in the Antarctica, you, you're not going to pull into a port and have 15, 20 souvenir shops outside selling you jewelry and all the different t-shirt trinkets you can get. It's going to be just a small town that they're using to survive <laughs> out there in, in the Antarctica. It, it's not going to be what you're used to everywhere else. And the nature that you will see will make your jaw drop. The, I can only imagine the, how lucky some people are to live out there and be able to open their doors and see the mountain peaks all across Alaska and to see the sea life in the Antarctica. Um, can you imagine, like, it's just, it brings you to a whole new perspective on the world when you go to these locations. And I think I'm going to have to bring you there again. I'm bringing you there again in June to Alaska, but I also think I'm going to have to bring you folks along and I think we're going to go to Antarctica and I'm, I've been looking at it more and more and I'm trying to fit it into my schedule. And if I can, I'll bring you this year. If not, we're going to go real early in 2021 and it'll be a long trip for that one if I go, but I'm hoping to get there this year. I really want to go to Antarctica this year and I will show you why so many people are going to colder climates. It's not because it's overly cold, it's just because of how beautiful it is out there and how wonderful being that far away from the hustle and bustle of city life. It can really change your perspective on where you live compared to where the real world is out there. Well, I hope you liked this little update. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Want to see more tips, more tricks, more travel vlogs from around the world? Hit that subscribe button. Till next time, have yourself a safe and a great vacation.